Hi, it's Rokas, your digital lifestyle expert here, talking about when the first CD burner was created. Well, a CD burner is sort of a colloquial name for a CD recorder, its official term, and the first one was available, believe it or not, as early as 1988. Now, uh, it's only if you had a few bucks. The first one was reported to be about $20,000, but if you got all the computers, the software to actually implement it and do it, you were looking at about paying just under 100,000 big ones. And the unit weighing in at about 600 pounds, yeah, that's not something that you stick in the back of your trunk. So it took a while for the prices to come down on that, but that was the first time uh, you know, CD recorders or burners were available like that. Now, uh, what it does, it uses an optical disc in order to, a, a recordable CD disc in order to make it happen. It makes the polymer inside of it, there's a metallic coating, and it basically puts in or writes in a digital signal very much like a record player does. Now, a record player actually makes grooves uh, into the vinyl to create the actual sounds. Here, uh, the laser's pushing up or down uh, to create either an on and off command, which is the sole, the basis of binary or all digital communications. Or all, uh, all digital period, whether it be communicating or talking back and forth to computers. Uh, Census Created was an incredibly popular way before you could record to tapes, but now you had a digital, uh, a, a, an inexpensive way uh, after it came out. You can get one now for about anywhere between $100 and $300, and they only weigh a couple of pounds. Um, and myself, the first foray into digital recording was uh, MD or mini discs, which I predicted would take off like a banshee. I was wrong. And back then, the MDs uh, actually were the exact same price of, a little bit of trivia, the exact same price as a new release album, about $15.99, because Sony just figured you'd rip it off. Uh, the first ones were, first CD, recordable CDs were expensive also, but now you can get them down to pennies. So if you're curious about the first time, go back in your time machine to 1988, and you can buy one for only $100,000, or save up some pennies kicking around to buy one used on eBay for 50 bucks. I'm Rokaz, your digital lifestyle expert, saying, stream you later.